Hello and welcome to uh, scripting tutorial number 12. Yeah, 12. Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning about embedded if statements. So, an embedded if statement is basically an if statement within an if statement. So, let's go ahead and create an if statement. First, we need the variable. My variable equals something. Okay, we've got a variable. So, let's begin making the if statement. If my variable equals 1 then right actually no let me make this equal to 5 and let me create another variable called my variable 2 let's set the value of that to 9 okay so if my variable equals 1 then do whatever is inside the if statement what if we stick another if statement inside this if statement okay so if my variable 2 equals 8 then okay so then we print hi right then we've got this if statement here is inside this if statement here so you can see how I've indented my code to make it so that this if statement is like you see there's a tab here so a good thing to learn is indenting so whenever you make an if statement or something um, when you're writing inside an if statement or something with an end then indent it by one tab so that you can see where everything ends so because I can see that this if statement ends here and this if statement ends here because I've, in, I've indented it if I was to create another if statement then I'd indent it by another line I mean as you can see here I've indented this print by another, another tab inside this if statement oh yeah you'll get indenting anyway so let's talk about the embedded if statements right what the code is going to do is it's not going to read both of these if statements unless this condition is true the reason is because because this if statement is inside this if statement what the code has to do or what you need to do is this condition needs to be true in order for the for the script to get into this bit here once the script gets into this bit here then it can read this if statement but if my variable is not equal to 1 then it will just skip to this bit here where it says end for the first if statement and then it will just carry on uh, reading lines of code like a script does so that's what it will do if this condition here is not true then it will just skip onto this end bit here if it is true if my variable does equal to 1 then it will read this bit here and um, then it will say okay is my variable 2 equal to 8 if it's not skip to this end and then we'll go to the next line which there's nothing inside this if statement apart from this if statement so we're just going to end this if statement as well and we're going to just carry on reading lines of code so so that's what embedded if statements are first of all let me set this let me press play then just to show you um, and you know, let me set this value to 8. So my variable 2 is equal to 8, just like it wants here. So, but my variable is not equal to 1. My variable is equal to 5. My variable 2 is equal to 8. So, because this one here is not equal to 1, it should not, it, it will just skip to this bit here. It will just skip to the end bit of this first if statement. So, let's go ahead and click play. play. It shouldn't print anything because it's just skipped all the way to the end. Okay, so let's make it equal to 1 then what it should do is it should read this bit here okay yep it's equal to 1 good let's go here okay yep it's equal to 8 now we're gonna print okay we've print we've printed next line of code end okay we've ended this if statement next line of code another end okay we've ended this if statement and let's carry on with our code so it should print now because both conditions are true so that's something about embedded if statements. If you stick another if statement inside this if inside your first if statement, the first if statement needs to have a true condition before you can get to the second one, which is embedded. So let's go ahead and create another one. If let's create another variable as well. My variable three. Let's set the value to nine. If my variable three is it, let's put it's greater than 5 then end okay right and let's make it complicated by printing here as you know let's print second if because this is still in the second if everything here is inside the second if so we've got my variable 2 is equal to 8 okay 
this if statement is inside the second if statement and this print function is inside the second if statement as well. I can make a, another print function here which is inside the first if statement. As you can see, if statement here, we've got our second if statement and third if statement here and the second if statement ends here which means that this is in the first if statement. It's quite simple really. I mean just because it looks a bit dodgy, uh, it's quite simple. So let's say, okay, my variable is equal to 1. Let's set this to 5. So it shouldn't run the second if statement. Therefore, it shouldn't print the second if statement print function. So let's run uh, first if printed. Okay, we got up to the first if, but we didn't get up to the second if because my variable 2 is not equal to 8. So let's set it equal to 8. Now it should print the second if. Let's put print function inside the third if. Third if. Okay, play prints the first, second, and third. Now the reason it's printed the third one first, the second one second, and the first one fir uh, third, is because what we've done with the code is we've said, okay, um, if my variable one is equal to one, yeah, if my variable is equal to one, then if my variable two is equal to eight, okay, we haven't printed anything yet, okay, it is equal to eight. Then, if my variable 3 is greater than 5, yes, it is greater than 5, now we've got to the printing bit. So it's going to print the third if first, then it's going to end the third if statement, then it's going to print the second if statement, then it's going to end the second if statement, then it's going to print in the first if statement, then it's going to end the first if statement. So that's what it does. And yep, these are just embedded if statements. It's just an if statement within an if statement. So just as an example, let me change the value of variable number 2 to 2 because we're going to get up to here, we're going to say okay, it is equal to 1, my variable we're going to get into this this bit here, we're going to read this okay, it's not equal to 2, my variable 2 is not equal to 2 so it's just going to skip the second if statement completely even though my variable 3 is greater than 5 we're not actually going to get to the third if statement because we couldn't pass the second if statement okay, so we've just skipped the second if statement, it doesn't exist in the code. We've just got to the first if, we've printed this because that's true, and then we're going to end and carry on. So, yeah, that's how embedded if statements work then. You need to have the the first if statement needs to be true to get to the second bit. So, say I stuck this third if statement into the first if statement. Um, okay, now it doesn't now the second if statement doesn't have to be true anymore because this if statement here is inside the first one so what it's going to do is it's going to run the first one okay good if my variable 2 is equal to 8 no it's not equal to 8 we're going to skip to the end now we're on a new bit of line or new line of code if variable 3 is equal to 5 then print third if well, not equal greater than so yeah this is true so it'll print third if but it won't print second if so you should have a greater understanding now on embedded if statements. If you don't, then just re-watch this tutorial and keep practicing. Practice makes perfect. Um, yeah, just keep practicing and practicing and practicing. That's all you've got to do. Constantly practice and experiment with a ton of stuff, whatever you can experiment with. Making stuff transparent, like I always say. Okay, so I think this is the last tutorial on if statements. Well, it should be. Um, yeah, we'll make this the last tutorial on if statements. Okay, so I'll see you in the next tutorial then, where we're going to be doing something a bit more interesting.